Hey guys, it's Holy Mushy here. Um, I'm gonna make this video uh, pretty quick. I have two tips on how to fight uh, gnomes or how to farm gnomes efficiently and effectively. Um, yeah, because I think we reached the point where a lot of us are always running our resources, training our troops, fighting um, gnomes uh, again for either EXP to level up your immortals or just for re or just for getting them essence and just yeah just farming in general so I just want to talk about two tips of how to maximize that so first one is with your troops right so let's take a look at um, the statistics so if you see here so right here I fought a level 9 so I fought a level 20 so starting from here I fought the strongest no one can fight is level 20 gives me 6,700 XP but I lose what like 4,000 like at least 1.4k died and 4k units are seriously hurt so that's that's pretty painful in terms of like my economy so yeah oh uh, no where, where where did my stuff go okay so it's right here so yeah so this is what you see here for level 20 we go here for level 19 okay one level down I get 500 less EXP but this time I lose 3,600 um, that wounded that I need to heal at the hospital and death rate 1,000 so still not that big of a significant but if I go from level 18 so this is where I huge, see a huge decrease in um, an amount of troops that I'm losing and getting hospitalized so instead of so I went from so I went from uh what is it called gathering so I went from okay 3600 and I died 1000 died to 1500 and 600 has died so we can see a huge difference in yeah pretty much like 50% uh, reduction of amount of troops that I lose but and the drawback is rather than so I get 5,800 EXP for my units as opposed to this one where I get 6,752 or 6,000 so it's a um, 1,000 less EXP but I lose way less troops and so I just want to point that out that yeah this is something is very crucial I just recently learned about this as I'm playing the game and I realized hey I'm just using two I'm just spending my time uh, upping my resources and so another way to effectively keep your upkeep for troops because even if you look at my um, let's see my barracks I guess you say and see here um, yeah I, I am like I don't have much troops to replenish I can't train them all so one thing I realized is I can't do it right now, but like, you can actually train um, enough troops to scale it down and train only the troops that you need. And then for the ones that you do need, you just use your speed ups accordingly. So for example, like, let's say this is 30 minutes of healing speed up. So I can um, train enough troops that would take around, what, 31 minutes? And I would get my troops back, back and ready to go fight down gnomes as opposed to like oh I want to train like oh 10,000 or not train but heal 10,000 of my units but that take like four hours and I don't have the um, I don't have the hourglass or speed up for it and it's just really inefficient and not worth it because all oftentimes you overestimate or underestimate and you just gotta lose out on like benefits same thing for training troops so you want to train enough units that you can use use so then you could use other stuff and with that, with that in mind about maximizing your resources and timing and speed ups, the remaining speed ups obviously should go towards um, your castle or big improvements to level up. But I think the most important one of all is actually dragons. So it, I've realized that dragons take a very long time to upgrade, and they when they get stronger, they actually help your team's um, army power a lot, troops count, because um they increase their unit stats by a lot and so um before i get there i want to talk about how um yeah 
there's speed ups that are work for any queue. I honestly, I think the best use for it at this point in time is dragons and just flow everything dragons or, or your castle. But honestly, dragon gives you the most immediate value, return value, because you can have stronger troops. Castle, I mean, you just slowly level them up and slowly progresses. I think only when you reach castle level 29 to level 30, when you get your next tier units of units, I think that's where it really matters. But other than that, I think all your anytime speed up for any one Q speed up should go towards dragon. And that leaves me and and that would be my last third tip. And the reason why it's um, immediate value of good is because each of these, you know, stats, physical attack, defense, much go attack and much go defense. Each of those are added to your each of your immortals. So, for example, with this water dragon, um, that means my Helen, Marlin, Lancelot, Brandhide, they each get um, a certain stat. The bonus added to um, to them when I use that dragon. So if I um, see these elements, so these gets added to each of my units. So attack, defense, magic, defense, and attack, they get added into um, right here. They get added to right here. Strength, agility, intelligence, physiques. Well, not up to energy regain, but point point is the the thing adds up. So yeah, I think those are the three tips that I want to let you guys know. And yeah, how to maximize uh, fighting gnomes and how to prioritize um, your Q speed ups. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna end.